Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. I've got a melon you can see right here. I already picked two of them, and this one is small, so I don't think it's ready. However, what it's attached to, if you look, is dead. We'll cut that off. I'll probably just feed this to the chickens. It's not quite ready. You can see all the green around the outer edge here. So unfortunately, nope, it's not ready, but we can cut this in half. And we can give this to the chickens because it might not be ready and super sweet for my consumption. It's going to be perfect for my chickens. So the chickens have no problem eating it. They love it, actually. Hey, be nice. Be nice. We'll let them eat. I'm going to go clean up that area because it got heavy with grass. So that's a major issue with growing things like melons and winter squashes where they vine across the ground because you really can't weed eat. You can't pull up the weeds here. It just gets heavy with weeds, as you can see. And this is creating a dangerous environment for my kids. And I was waiting until that ripened, but that part of the stock died. There is no other melons ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this plant out. Now I do have a watermelon here and another watermelon there that should finish up before the end of the year. I mean, we have until mid-November, usually until our first frost, so we should be able to get at least a couple melons in with this bed. We're gonna weed eat this. That's all cleaned up now. So that looks a whole lot better. And right before these get big enough to come out, I'm going to do that again. So it gives them a little chance to not be completely engulfed and covered by the grasses here. Now I can get in without standing in long grass and cut that off. So these watermelon should grow pretty quickly now. Watermelon are, and, and most melons are a little weird in that it takes them a long time to get started. But once you start seeing new growth, they'll, they'll sit there and almost look like they're doing nothing for like two months. And then all of a sudden, boom, they'll just explode in growth. Maybe they're just working on growing the roots first. I don't know. But they are finally starting. I'm seeing a little bit of growth on them. So just like three days ago, it was like this long. It was, it was that big. And now I've got that extra. Yeah, this one was pretty small too a couple days ago. This one's really taken off. I might be able to get something in between taller veggies in the back here you guys tell me what you think i should plant in between here i don't have any seeds started so something that's probably pretty quick because i mean while watermelon takes a couple months i want that you know to be able to turn this bed over i don't want something like a tomato that's gonna take just as long from the starting point to produce so i want something quick that i can turn over really easily really quick and once these are ready to pull up once i harvest my watermelon i can then pull up those plants and restart this bed for something different. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, these watermelon are probably planted in here maybe a, uh, about two weeks ago, maybe three. Keep that in mind. Two weeks later. Well, check it out, guys. We are about uh, two weeks from the last video, maybe a week and a half. I've come through with the weed eater and cut a lot of this a couple times, but you can see here I wasn't able to reach and this is getting tall now. I just don't want to get too close and cut off my watermelon here, but it's grown really well. So it's coming out, sprawling out. I'm cutting this periodically out here as this grows out. So, I mean, it'll be high right by this uh, pretty soon because uh, I can't really cut there, but I'm trying to cut all around it, but it's definitely growing now. So it's hit that growth spurt and we should start seeing little baby watermelons. Let's see if we can find one. Cause this is about the time that we should see one at least Oh, there we go. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. It's a little baby watermelon. So we'll see if that got pollinated. Um, if it did, then it'll grow big. But if not, then we'll just wait for another one. Hopefully, it, you know, one of them gets pollinated. So there we go on that one. And this variety is the sugar baby. So that's the little one. What do we got going over here? This is the Crimson Sweet. I don't see any babies, baby watermelon on this one yet, but we will soon. 
It's a larger watermelon, so it takes a little longer to kind of get going. The little ones are usually a little quicker. So, but it's doing well. So I think that was good that I was able to pull everything out, things that were spent and just not growing. And watermelon is the ticket right now. So our biggest pest here for squash is a squash fine borer, but it doesn't seem like the squash fine borer goes for watermelon, at least what I've noticed in my area. So while the cucumber beetles are kind of going for this, they're not doing as much damage and there's not as many of them as the squash fine borer. The squash fine borer is just, it's a major pest where I'm at. There's just so many of them. So I'm not sure I got to figure that out. But for watermelon, I don't have to worry about that pest. I really didn't do much between switching over the bed. I didn't pull up the mulch, didn't do anything really. All I did was just dig the hole and plant. Once we harvest the watermelons, um, I'm gonna convert this back into a root veggie bed, which means I'm gonna come through and I am gonna pull off all the mulch, broad fork it, kind of fluff up the soil a little and then I can get those root veggies in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.